Hey guys, I'm Daisho and I'm here playing some magic and uh, this game is the final game of me versus Night Ninja 21 and obviously the first two games if you've seen them they were crazy good both of them had really really cool endings and I I really enjoyed watching them and I think a lot of you guys did based on the comments I usually don't get that many positive comments saying wow this was a pretty good game um, so that's just that's just one amazing thing about this about this tournament. I want to thank Wing for uh, helping run it. Go check out his website. Be a nice guy. It'll be it'll be a fun time for you, I'm sure. Anyway, let's get into the actual commentary and analysis of this game. Obviously, this is a post commentary. You can tell by the fact that I'm talking to you and I already know how you received the first two games. But uh, that's, I mean, I'm just going to explain it really quickly. I made a couple of huge mistakes in the WMG tournament, and I decided to go ahead and record it uh, post. So, right here, I make the uh, make the interesting decision to not murder his Nantuko Shade. It, it swings in for two here, which is uh, pretty good for it. And um, I really thought that he would he would pump, and I decided not to murder it. And even if it was just swinging for two, then I'm like, oh, well, I guess I don't really want to kill it if it's swinging for two. But now I'm going to tap out to play my Blood Hunter Bat. So it basically means he has free reign to do whatever he wants with his Nantugo Shade. So he can swing in for, for about 6 now. Take me down to 14. I'll nullify the life gain, obviously. But um, I could chump block here and then force him to just pump and then not really be able to play something this turn. But I don't think that's really worth it. I, don't, I, I just lose a lot from that and don't really gain too much. But uh, he decides to just pump out here. And I am not really in the ideal shape that I wanted to be in. So now I'm at 14. Um, if I had just killed the shade originally, I'd be at 22. And I would have one less murder in hand, but that's pretty much it. I would still have everything on the board be the same. So it's a little bit unfortunate, but it was a necessary, uh, it was a necessary evil. I don't know if it was definitely the right play not to murder it, but I definitely think it had merit, the play that I made. And it wasn't it wasn't god awful or anything. So he's got a Liliana Spectre, a Vampire Nighthawk, a Liliana Shade, and an Innocent Blood in hand. And let's walk through what I did here and why I chose what I chose. So um, Liliana Shade basically means that I I just lose one card from my hand, which is not really what I want to do. A lot of these a lot of the other cards I could double up on, like um, Nighthawk or um, or Liliana Shade, if he plays either in the next turn. If I draw a land, I can Massacre Worm. I can always just mutilate everything. Um, if I needed to, I can like Rise from the Grave. Obviously, I'm not going to take Innocent Blood, since I have the Blood Hunter Bot, Blood Hunter bot to just sacrifice, um, and it, was, it wouldn't really be a big deal. But he decides not to pump here, which is really, really good for me. And what I want right now is for him to play the Nighthawk, and then I'll swing in, and then post-combat, I'll be able to Massacre Worm and kill his side. But, even better for me, which probably was the right play on his part, um, he plays the Liliana Shade here, and uh, that's just really, really good for me. The game is singing. I don't know if he meant to pump there. It probably did. He probably wanted to like pump for two, or, what, or pump for one, and then play the Liliana Shade. But um, if he did, that's kind of unfortunate for him. And right now, I'm feeling like I'm in good shape as long as I draw this land, which I do. So very nice draw, very lucky draw there. Then I managed to get the land that I needed to. Then I can swing in for two with my bat and then play the Massacre Worm. By the way, one thing that I did want to mention because I'm watching the audio go by and I keep seeing um, these pops. If you can't hear them, don't worry about it. it never happened. But I am I'm actually ordered a pop filter and it should be arriving within the next couple of days. So hopefully my commentaries will sound a lot better um, after that. Anyway, um, ba uh, back to the game. I massacre Worm, kill a couple of his dudes. He takes some damage and I'm in pretty good shape. Um, he's got he's to gotta basically just draw answers right now um, or have them in his hand. I know he's got an innocent blood. That's I saw that. I also know he has a Nighthawk, and he the other thing that was still left was just a Swamp, so he probably played that, so I don't really know uh, any of the four cards in his hand right now, which is... Uh, oh, wait, no, I do know that he still has Nighthawk. Nighthawk? Yeah, he still has Nighthawk in hand, unless I am mistaken, which I very well could be. But anyway, he plays Obliterator, and I have the perfect answer to Obliterator, Murder, so I, I mean... 
way back, way back when I didn't murder that Nantuko Shade. I got to use it on the Obliterator, so that's pretty awesome for me. And I'm going to swing in for six here, take him down to two. And yeah, he definitely does still have Nighthawk in hand. Sorry about that. I just got confused for a little second because I knew that he didn't play Nighthawk for the rest of the game. And the reason was because he discarded it to my Liliana Shade. So now I have two things threatening lethal. I have removal spells. If he plays a creature, he's dead. If he does nothing, then he's dead because I can rise from the grave of my Bloodhunter Bat to deal two damage to him. It's pretty cute, but uh, it would be the right play. And then he goes ahead and corrupts my Massacre Worm. So pretty much the only thing that could have saved him. Also, Tendrils could have saved him, which would have been better because I would have been like, Rise from the Glaive, Blood Hunter Bat? Aren't, isn't this so cute? And he'd be like, Tendrils, your Massacre Worm, get raped. And I'd just probably cry. But right now, um, I'm making a decision whether or not I want to wait for him to play creatures before I rise from the Glaive, my Massacre Worm. Maybe I want to go get an Obliterator. Maybe I just want like a Nighthawk or something like that. In the end, I make the decision to obviously just swing for two and then get the Massacre Worm back because it just puts him in a position where if the one card in his hand isn't like a murder or something like that, then he's in really, really bad shape. Or if he doesn't draw one, um, then he's just in terrible shape because he's pretty much dead. Um, all I have to do is innocent blood away a creature that he plays, even if he does play a blocker, and then swing in and then he's just dead. So it puts me in a really, really good position um, getting this Massacre Worm right here. He ends up playing a Runescar Demon, and uh, that pretty much just clinches it, because he obviously can't do anything else unless he can play Swamp Innocent Blood, I suppose. Which uh, which would have made... No, no, that would not have changed anything. Never mind. Um, if he could have done that before, that might have changed something. But it doesn't matter now, because then I would just get rid of the Shade. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do on my turn. I'm going to Innocent Blood. He's going to have to sacrifice his Runescar Demon, take two from the Massacre Worm there. And I can swing him with the Massacre Worm for victory, so... Man, some halfway through that second game, I really thought that my tournament uh, run was going to end there, but I got lucky and I played well, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I, it was a combination of both, and I managed to persevere and make it to the next round of the tournament. So it's really exciting, and I hope you guys enjoyed thus far and are excited for the rest of the tournament, as excited as I am, hopefully. Maybe I will be able to progress into the round of 8. This is the round of 16 so far. I've won two matches. I need to win a few more if I want to uh, to get to the finals, but I think I can do it. Do you guys have faith in me? I have faith in me. Woohoo! Go Daisho. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.